This week, we are going to look at line breaks. Now, sometimes on the 7 Series, you don't have to run round teams, you can run through them. And there are four teams this season on the HSBC World 7 Series that have got more than 100 line breaks. New Zealand, Fiji, South Africa and Australia. And of those, Australia are leading the way by getting 1.3 line breaks per try, which equates to 77% of all of their line breaks ending in a score. Now what we've got are some clips to show how they can use that statistic in action to make them so dangerous on a sevens field. So here we are, Australia, playing Spain in Cape Town. And this is a typical scene you find yourself in sevens. Longbottom, more often than not, would challenge the line, but this time runs laterally. He takes the pace off the ball, leaving Anderson an opportunity to run back against the Spanish defenders. And once stressed, their shoulders are turned, meaning it's very hard to adjust to the line that Lucky Anderson is going to fly through. He hits the line at pace, outside arc, around the sweeper, giving a great score from a team on form. So it's not just Australia that employ a similar tactic of getting big men running hard lines. And South Africa, who are second place on the chart with 68% conversion of line breaks to tries, also have one player who stands out with that. Ruan Nell is a centre in 15s and employs exactly the same technique when playing sevens. Here we can see set police play, Heddle gets the ball early and goes across the field meaning the PNG defenders are running Latcher with him. Usually, Sonatla gets the ball to run out wide, but Hedo sees the defenders turn, and that indecision and a wonderful change of direction at the line gives Nell a chance to score. The next clip, again, is set piece, but this time back to Australia, so successful in Sydney without necessarily having that gas man out wide, and here's why. Stannard throws in from the line out, gives Holland the ball early. Now, normally, O'Donnell would be looking to exploit the space outside of Hughes in that 13 metre space between him and Baker. But with Thomasin being further forward, the depth is just as effective as the width. And looking aerially is exactly the same space. O'Donnell can see if he gets on the inside of Thomasin and the outside of Hughes, the gap is there. And wonderfully finished with a right foot step, takes him round and under the post. Really successful attack from this Australian team and it showed how they did so well in Sydney. This next clip is brilliant as it shows exactly the same movements but with a different outcome. New Zealand clearly having analysed Australia's game against the USA thought a similar line was coming but have a look at this. Again from line out, Stannard is pivotal in this play and keep an eye out for his line of running. The ball comes in, Holland gets it and again, O'Donnell is chomping at the bit to hit that short line on the outside of Newstub and Ware. When he runs that line hard, Ware sticks with him, leaving Stannard on the loop around. Holland hits him with a beautiful ball. It shifted out wide to Taylor, who does the damage out wide. An incredibly well-worked team score that shows just how smart this Australian team can attack without necessarily being blessed with out-and-out -out pace.